He was immediately eligible after graduating magna cum laude from Texas Tech last December. And the football is on the ground and goes in for the Rice touchdown. Well, that's certainly not the way you want to start if you're Memphis's offense. And obviously, you know, capitalizing on the Rice defense, picking up the ball for, a, for an easy six. And this is Philip Gaines, who has been an outstanding player for them. You know, you just wonder if they're going to take a look at this again, Ben. Well, you can't. You can't. Jacob Karam chose to do that, and he's in grad school at Memphis. And now they try the sideline, and getting wrapped up is Jai Stive, the junior. Really nice play by James Radcliffe here, number 10. He's going to come off the left side here. Just fights off two blocks, gets in there, goes low, trips him up. It's a nice play by the sophomore. And by Johnny Farms right there in the middle. <laughs> Try the ground again, and Ross breaks free for a long game, but there is a flag down on the field. Ross will get the first down, so let's see if it is a hold, because it certainly was in that vicinity. Ghost fly sweeps and then hand the ball off. Karam comes back in, a little delay for the Memphis running game, and they get a short game of about two yards before Paul Porras, who leads the team in tackle with 48, makes the play. Cody Bauer comes away with the football, and are they giving it to Rice? Yes, they are. This will be their second turnover. I would imagine they will look at it upstairs. The ruling on the field is fumble with the recovery by Rice. That ball is out. That ball is out. Good job by Cody Bauer having the, the awareness and the presence to see that ball and try to go with it. And so I wanted to see the big man run. I was I was kind of I was kind of hoping he didn't get tackled. Well, that is a shame for the Memphis Tigers. I mean, they have really. And Taylor will rip it down the field, completes the pass up near the 30-yard line. And out to the 34 on a healthy gain is Dennis Parks, the freshman from Converse, Texas, a gain of 21. They'll need just one more yard for a first down. They move to the Big East. So they really feel like Justin is going to do the, the job as the head coach coming over from a very successful TCU program. Karen will scramble and get cut down on the blitz from James Radcliffe, a five yard loss. McDonald with 16 catches this year for 228 yards, and Taylor's had a lot of time. Memphis has put very little pressure on him when he has dropped back. Rice has to like that the way he missed last week's game against Houston with the left shoulder injury, a gain of 12 and a first down. Six foot. Redshirt freshman who got the start last week in their loss to Houston. And here's a nice game by Charles Ross. And he has the first down out past the 30 yard line. McCain knocked him down. Just a little ride belly play. They do a good job of holding up the defensive guys on the right side there. And there's just nobody there. There was nobody over that on that side once he got around the edge. Karam in trouble, and the blitz will knock him down. It was Hosam Shaheen, his first sack of the night. Well, that's what happens when you get good coverage. They're manned up on the outside, a two-man situation where you have safeties over the top, make it look like zone. You man them up on the outside, you provide some safety help, and really, I think you just confused him, allowed the defensive line to make their moves work a little bit, and a big-time sack as they keep the clock moving right now. With it. So here we go with Jacob Karen under center. And Karen will hand that football off and not much of anything by Jai Stive. This is now the quarterback. And a slip by the running back. Once again, we go back to that uh, situation we talked about. They need to come away with points. They can't just be. And he has a difficult third and ten. Nobody to help him out in the backfield, so he tries to throw it quickly, and it is knocked down. He tried to throw inside to Tevin Jones. So Memphis not going anywhere, and Rice defense continues to impress. 
Yeah, once again, I think this weather, this slippery ball, and they need to, you know, figure out how to keep these balls dry and you figure out how to keep your hands dry because this is going to affect both quarterbacks and you know obviously the situation with as they try to drive down the field and put some points on the board 21 yards to the 22 this time rice's defense is all over it led by cody bauer the defensive end carl harris has not been able to get outside the first half now it's really picked up in the second half now trouble and you know, here's what's interesting. They were having success running the football. Now all of a sudden they want to, to trick them, go with the play action, and they wind up losing. Now it'll be third down and very long. Well, normally when the when the running game's going, the play action's for about four blocks. But we had a blast, and it has been wonderful. The fans and the people here in Memphis, Tennessee, so hospitable. 55 yards on seven carries. And they'll try the middle, this time Harris. They've gone away from Stein and Cook and more with Harris and Hayes in the second half. And those guys are hitting that offensive line awfully quickly.